October is Toastmasters Month, the recipe for success from a world champion of public speaking. Can Toastmasters ruin your life? And whipping up Bahamian crab and rice. Welcome to the Sunshine of Timely Tidbits, a monthly highlight of Toastmasters news in District 47, comprising clubs in South Florida and the Bahamas. I'm your host, Albert Thompson. Thanks for tuning in. October is Toastmasters Month. This year, the Communication and Leadership Organization celebrates 96 years of existence on October 22nd. Uh, when I was giving lectures uh, to students, I just could tell I just wasn't being as effective as I'd like to be and, and it bothered me a lot. And I remember going through that first order of, uh, quarter of teaching and when I got through I took my notes and I threw them right in a trash can because I thought I, I had a better material than this. And I started over did the second quarter and it was a little better but not much and I it was at a point where I was going to make a decision either stay in teaching, pick you up at 6 o'clock Monday morning, I'm going to show <laughs> you something. and. Uh, we ended up pulled a, into a hotel in the meeting room and walked in and there was a Toastmasters banner and never heard of it before and whatever and a group of people sitting around the table and I ended up at a, my first Toastmasters meeting and, and what's ironic about that is that uh, I knew then this isn't what I wanted but it's what I needed <laughs> and about three years after that uh, I was given the Outstanding Educator Award in the College of Ag. The program, which began in Santa Ana, California by Ralph Smedley, is a non-profit educational organization that operates over 16,000 clubs in 145 countries around the world. To find a club near you, visit toastmasters.org. As the Toastmasters program expands and enhances its brand, there is a need to plan for the future. In this month's Sunshiner, Patty Stevenson reviews how the five-year strategic plan was unveiled along with an interim plan 2020 that recognizes the impact of COVID-19. The 2020 interim plan will focus on those items that are feasible and critical over the next 12 to 18 months. And the winner of the 2020 World Champion of Public Speaking is Mike Carr. This summer, Toastmaster Carr demonstrated the effective use of the speaking area on camera in a virtual contest. I was spellbound as I watched the sheriff who had just been shot slide back, open that heavy metal door, stagger forward a couple of steps, look deep into the camera and say, I before E except after C. His recipe for success, there is a victory in the try. Have you started your journey down the pathway to Pathways? The flexibility of the program can meet you where you are in your speaking goals. Jessica Frankel gives her personal account of how she gained the hope and confidence she needed through Pathways in this month's sunshine. Can Toastmasters ruin your life? Well, Dudley Turnquest says it's given him increased anxiety. Obviously, Toastmasters is not going to ruin your life but for those of you Toastmasters who've been in the program for a while, you're going to relate so, so much to that article. You're going to understand exactly what I mean when I say, before you were a Toastmaster, everything was fine. But after, everyone's getting evaluated. Toastmaster TurnQuest is no longer a passive listener and attentively takes note of ahs, ums, and word crutches. It hasn't ruined his life, just given him a more critical ear for evaluation. Tis the season for clubs, areas, and divisions to host humorous speech and evaluation contests. Abby Martinez puts a twist on it with Shut Up and Laugh, which was the theme for the Visionary Toastmasters Club. What's the most memorable relationship you ever had? My record? Six whopping minutes! The contest involved preparation for contestants and participants as a virtual contest has its challenges. If you like art, then check out this piece called Above Sunshine by artist Jaja Wallace. This was essentially doodling. It's my main process when it comes to me doing art. And I just wanted to make something light and beautiful while still having a strong effect, I would say. So I decided to go with a strong sun. 
and the lightness of the clouds, essentially. Finally, in this edition, Toastmaster and Chef Chevette Black is at it again. Last time, she gave us the recipe for conch fritters. Today, it's all about crab and rice, a seasonal, flavorful delicacy on the plates of many in the Bahamas. Take a look. Got it? Feel free to play it again. And just before we go, October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. For all those in the fight, do know you are not alone. And that ends this edition of the Sunshine or Timely Tidbits for this month. I'm Albert Thompson. Thanks for looking in. And remember that Toastmasters is the training ground where leaders are made and together we rise. <laughs>